Okay, thank you, Tawanda. Uh, that's what I was doing right now. I was going to our messages. I knew it. I knew it. Tiffany, why are you, like, seriously? Nobody's talking about you, please. I knew it was her. I've seen her in here before. She, she used that name um, a while ago. But I thought we had done, were done speaking on each other, but I guess not. No, that's a cat. Hey, Quinny. I've actually lost a lot of weight, Dawn, so <laughs> nice try. This is fierce. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Pearl's Rescue. Like, literally. Look at this comment right here. This is like... The only reason why I'm doing this is because this person claims that they are talking to two people in my real life. This is what they said. They said that I have been talking to two people that have known you for years, so I have no reason to lie. If you would like me to come up on your panel and explain, I would be more than happy to. Then your subscribers could hear both sides of the story instead of only hearing you whining and lying so they think you're an innocent victim. The two people I've been speaking with about you are extremely upset at your behavior and are really concerned about your daughter. Seriously, Ziggy, you need to put your pipe... Put down your pipe, grow the fuck up, and get your life together. You can't treat people the way you do and think it's okay because you make some half-ass apology. It's a different story when people are telling the truth about you, isn't it? Just do better and treat people the way you want to be treated, and you won't have people like me exposing you. Waiting. That wasn't all the email, but of course there's a bunch of bullshit before. Oh, hey, Gold Star, thank you. JK is actually in Korea. I know, my face tells it all. I know, I am always nice, like... <sighs> well, I have reacted a few times and stuff, but for the longest time, I've really been um, trying to stay away from, like, drama and stuff. No, it's a different, it's not that merry person. But, oh, thank you, Autumn. It's, it's weird colors right now, because it has still that blue in it, and then it's growing out, and it's being washed out. It's washed out, so it's, yeah, it's definitely... But I don't even care right now. Aw, thank you, Tabby. Yeah, I don't definitely don't initiate it. But I'm willing to let this person come up here and tell me, like, their qualms about me. I mean, uh, they, they say, I, I'm willing to hear them out. Like, I really am. I was actually really hoping that they would come up here. I'm guessing it's the channel Just the Receipts because I don't know who else it could be. But I, it's weird because I meet, immediately emailed them back the second that they emailed. And they're, they're saying that they'll come up here and tell everybody about me, so. <sighs> they won't come up because they're chicken. I only want to run their mouth through, you know? Well, I was hoping that they were serious because I was I was wanting to understand where they're coming from. Of course, the things that they wrote in the email are all, like, not correct stuff. One of the um, things that they mentioned about me, of course, is the whole, um, I started my channel um, discussing confidential CPS records. That's what she says. And she said, if you want anything, you're willing to last. I don't know. If you want anything you're willing to last, building on a foundation of lies isn't the way to do it. And yes, I know that you didn't say you had the actual CPS records in your hand, but you said that you knew for a fact that the person who gave you the info was someone who had access to the reports. I don't remember saying that. She never told me she saw the reports. This was a uh, hearsay. How would I know? I mean, I'm assuming she probably saw the reports. Do we need to revisit that video and show how I presented it to you guys? It was one of my very first videos, so you got kind of got to give me some leeway, but there was no CPS records, like, ever. No CPS records were ever um, seen, shown. So it's, you know, that was her. It wasn't even. But she made a uh, YouTube channel on a foundation of lies. So if she's who she, might, I think she is. Or at least, you know, exaggerated truth. And, or, you know, I'm guessing she clips things. I've never watched her channel. Not since, um, if it's a Just Receipts, not since, um, yeah, I don't remember last time I would ever watch them. Why would I sit there and watch somebody talk shit about me? And then she mentions, and then she brings up after that, Bone Gate? Then she goes, isn't that what you called it? I did? I don't remember calling it Bone Gate. I, I thought I called the dog situation Dog Gate. I don't think I said Bone Gate, but... And then she goes, bet, and then she goes isn't that what you called it? Like, it's funny, SMH. Bet you won't be laughing when the true story about the whole shit show comes out. We are in the process of getting all the proof of that together, so you might want to prepare your lies ahead of time. Won't help you anyway, because I, I wouldn't make that accusation if there wasn't proof. Oh, let's see what else is there. Oh, yeah, toxic people and their families who have absolutely no... Nothing to do with YouTube. What? Who? Who did I talk that has nothing to do with YouTube? What are you talking about? 
We talked about the lady who I didn't even say her real name was or her daughter that I contacted. We talked about the lady who emailed me and called my, uh, told me my daughter was fat. Are you talking about that one? The one that you guys seem to make excuses for and think it's okay for to talk like that as a 61-year-old lady about a 13-year-old child? Jeez. <sighs> oh, Aw, thank you, Michelle. I'm just waiting for her to show up. She claims she's talking to two people in my real life, which is total bullshit. I don't even know who it is, Cuckoo B. They just emailed me and said that I just emailed me out of the blue and said, oh, she just happened to be skimming through my live from last night and heard you mention my name. Is there something I can help you with? She said, in the videos I have made concerning you, I've only said things that are 100% fact, as you know. No, I don't know. I don't watch your bullshit, but I'm sure it's bullshit, exaggerated, you know, doesn't have the complete context, clipped. I guarantee it. I don't know who this person is, but they said they're going to come up here and tell me about myself, so I'm waiting. Uh, but the thing that got me is that they claim they're talking to two people in my life who know me very well, according to her. No, they know me for years. Years, she said. Which is so full of shit, there is absolutely no way you're speaking to anybody who or two, that have known me for years that are willing to sit there and give you information about me. There is no way. Literally, there's zero way. I mean, if, if you're talking to anybody, it's got to be somebody um, from like 10 plus years ago. Probably somebody I haven't seen for 10 years or more. It has to be. And I guarantee, you bring up my daughter, you said they're very concerned about my daughter. I guarantee you what it is, probably hasn't even met my daughter. So I would love to know who these reliable sources are that you just claim to know who have known me for years. Who is it, Justice? Or which one? What do you mean you know which one? Who's been doing these emails? She's a psycho. This was a new email. I have never got an email from this person before. I don't think. See, look, now we have another person coming in under a fake name never seen. <sighs> in your profession. I'm not in a profession. What are you talking about? What profession is that? I have an education. That's, I'm, I don't have, like, actual profession right now. Same person making the videos? Who? Can you just text me who you're thinking? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Concerned about the kid whose game systems found an AirPods cost more than their entire checking account. <laughs> Uh, I, I think these are the type of people that we're dealing with that don't even have, yeah, they don't, I don't know, but I'm, I really was hoping that this person would come up because um, I knew that it was bullshit. I should have not even ever read it. I should have just like closed it as soon as I opened it and noticed it was a bunch of more bullshit because now I've, um, I mean, I just usually ignore this stuff, um, but I read the whole thing. I, I, I ended up opening back up and reading the whole thing. And then I see she claims that she's talking to people that have known me for years. Okay. So. Same person who asked for a coat? Oh, you think that the just receipts? I don't know. It comes back to somebody named Jesse is what they're, they have it set as, but 